What I thought we, we, our mindset was originally right. I think we did a pretty good job grinding it through. It was, it was that kind of game. There wasn't going to be, we, we knew going in, there wouldn't be a whole lot of easy for us and didn't look like we had a lot in the tank and they played hard and I think we kind of matched that. It was even. We would like to be better than even at home. Um, they got a break at the end that we hadn't earlier, so get some rest and come back for the next one. What were your impressions of Vladimir Tarasenko and his Panthers? Did yeah, I, li I like the small things that he did that are non-skill related. The skill's there. We're not worried about any of that, but he blocked some shots and picked up the reads very, very quickly with a whole bunch of new systems. I thought he made some good small area plays. They, there wasn't a lot of offense to be had for either team, but they had a big chunk of it there. Anything that we had going in the first was there, so it was a good starting point. I mean, during that four on four, when Kachuk came out, he kind of got stuck in that center spot, and he was able to kind of find the spot he needed to be able. To he shot. not uh, he, he, when you walk, go back and watch the video, he's very very in tune of of picking up off other players and and playing off position if he needs to. He can in shift play both sides of the ice, pick up you know, that that part. He's I mean, he's exceptional at. Is that, I mean, he's a guy who's won a cup. Been an all star a whole bunch of times, played a bunch of games. Like, is there just stuff he's going to be able to bring with, with that level of experience? Yeah, I, it's just there's, there's so much history in his game. He's been in the league town. He's just good, and he's a playoff guy. He gets it on his stick, he gets it off his stick. I, I, I like this game. You know, I, I don't know that I will over critique anybody's game tonight. There, were, there weren't standout performance. Um, that's usually a tell. I think if your whole team's behind it a little bit, you probably stay off the ice and get some rest and uh, get back on our horse. Gustav Forsling gets a goal, but the bigger news earlier yeah. in the day, just, we see it with our own eyes, but from your own perspectives, what does he mean to this team and just the importance of getting knocked out for I that I think long? just leadership more than anything else. Uh, when you're trying to find people that you want to model your franchise after, he wins the fitness award every year, pushes himself hard. He's He'll be the guy in the ice bath tomorrow. He'll be the guy doing all the right things to prepare for the next game. He's wonderful with his teammates and a very, very high performer. And he will play at that level for all of those eight years. He's just, you know, he's physically uh, driven to be great. So an important piece for sure. You weren't here when, when he got here, but just you have to love that story, right? Guy claimed off waivers. I don't really love the story because we missed him on waivers <laughs> <laughs> where I was. But uh, you love the idea of the late bloomers who had to believe in themselves, possibly at times when nobody else did. And then you find the place that does. And, and to be given the opportunity not just to become the pro that you are and then realize that that will be your career, that's that's a good story for sure. I mean, even after finding a, a spot and getting a uh, spot in the lineup there, it seems like he still approaches us, the game the same way and keeps getting better and better. Yeah, well, he works hard at it. Like he's in the video room. He does the work to get better. He talks. He's just a great pro. I think there are lots of talented athletes in pro sports that are, are gifted and, and reach a certain level and stay there. And, the, and it's fine because they're as good as they need to be. Gustav will be as good as he possibly can be by the time he's done. I mean, it seems like that's a common trait with a lot of guys in this locker room, like a guy like Carter Brickley. Yeah, we've had players, and, and maybe it's just by the time they get together as a group, then something special has happened with them because now they are playing with maybe a higher level than they had when they originally started. So the Sam Bennett's and Verhage's and you know all of those guys come in, and they're good players here, and they can start, and their confidence comes back, and then you get to see them differently. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Coach.